The stresses are definitely building. It is 2.17 in the morning on board Titanic here. This is definitely it. Power is out. Just the emergency power remains. And here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are back in Roblox, and today we are playing a brand new Titanic game called Titanic The Final Hours. So yeah, guys, let's get into the video. All right, so it is four in the morning on board the RMS Titanic on April 14th, 1912, and we are gonna go ahead and tour the ship from the stern to the bow. So um, starting down here, we have a bit of a corridor, a very tight uh, knit corridor here. And, uh, wow, that does not look comfortable at all. It looks like a slide, almost. Just sliding down the side of the wall here. And, uh, yeah, that's right outside, and there you have your porthole. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's walk around here, and let's see if we can find any more cabins. Um, I'm pretty sure you can identify which cabins are opened by the doors kind of, uh, cracked open a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so we are in the third class section of the Titanic which is rarely shown in a lot of Roblox Titanic videos. It isn't actually on board the VVG Roblox Titanic, but it is here. So this is really cool to take a look at. All right, so nothing much here. We're going to keep going down if we can. Yep, so this leads down to an unfinished space, as you can see here. So I'm pretty sure that he has these spaces completed on another model, kind of like a showcase model. And uh, this is just for the sinking mode. And the reason why there's a lack of detail is because he doesn't want it to lag. So we're going to make our way forward. Here we have the cargo hold, which is unfortunately filled with water. That is a bug. That is not uh, the creator's fault there. But um, yeah, as you can see, this is the second class staircase. So we've made our way from third class to second class. And um, yeah, we're going to just look around here. And um, any second class cabins to take a look at here? Oh, here we are. Here is the second class cabin right here. Look at this. You got a little bit of a seat here. You've got your two beds as well as your amenities. And um, yeah, the cabins weren't really meant to be stayed in all the time. You were really meant to go up on deck, have a nice time, explore the ship and whatnot. So yeah, they weren't really detailed and furnished like the first class cabins where the suites were, where you'd pretty much spend a good portion of your time on board other than the main amenities. So um, let's go around here. So making our way forward, we have the main second class staircase. This one goes all the way up to the boat deck level. And hey, look at that. We've got a nice, wonderful sunrise going on. Too bad we're below decks where we can't see it. And uh, here we have some more unfinished spaces or spaces that were finished on the showcase model, but sadly did not make it here. So um, yeah, let's just keep exploring. This is actually really cool. All right, so continuing forward here, we are now in a first class space, I believe. Please correct me if I am wrong, because I know I'm gonna be making quite a few mistakes in this video. We have a watertight door here, and I believe a photo of Olympics uh, hallway here, corridor here, was actually taken kind of right at this position. Uh, kind of cool, but let's make our way forward still. Oh, here we have a uh, crew stairwell, I believe. And uh, yeah, let's keep going forward. All right, let's see what's on the left here. Ooh, nice little corridor there. And um, here we are. We are going to be at the first class stairwell in a moment. Actually, I think it's this door here. Yes, it is. Here we go. This is the bottom of the grand staircase. Well, not the actual bottom. That goes down to F deck, but we're going to explore E deck for a little bit here. And we can actually get to F deck uh, through the Scotland Road area. So um, he has all of these places actually decked out. Some of them are not detailed, of course, but uh, some of them are, which is really cool. Let's go down to F deck here. So uh, here we are on F deck. We've got a watertight door here. And um, yeah, let's keep going down. Now we're on G deck. So yep, we've got some third class cabins here. And sadly, none of them are accessible, but you can see we are slightly below the waterline here, just to our waist level or chest level in game. Um, but our character is slightly smaller than it would be in real life. So let's uh, let's look around here, see if you can find any open cabins. We got another watertight door here. We are on F deck, by the way. We have an angled hallway here, or an angled wall there, I should say. And... Um, yeah, no accessible cabins here, but I know there's got to be one around here. I'm a little anxious to get back out on deck because it is a little claustrophobic here, but we have another third class cabin. Again, not really fully decked out, but it's third class, so what are you supposed to expect? And uh, here we go. Nice view at the porthole there. And it looks like the Coronia has just informed us that there is some ice ahead, so we better look out for that. 
Um, so let's head up to EDAC, I believe. Yep, we're back on EDAC. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and check out the boiler rooms. There are two boiler rooms. Boiler room 6 and 5, as well as the uh, cargo holds. It is infamous for the 1997 Titanic film scene where the water crashes through the hull here and pours out onto this side of the ship. When in reality, Fireman Barrett was actually posted on the other side based on his testimony. So right over here. And he was talking to somebody and he looked up and he saw the water coming in and uh, I believe he actually ran through the watertight door into Boiler Room 5 which is one of the only instances where that actually occurred on the ship during the sinking so very very cool anyways let's get out of here and let's get back to the Grand Staircase and we will explore the F deck area of the Grand Staircase or the very bottom of the Grand Staircase alright so here we are on F deck let's see can we go through to the uh, Turkish baths apparently not can we go to the pool Yes, we can. Look at this. The pool is accessible. And it sounds like some music is playing. So that is wonderful. It's always nice to hear some music. Now, I do believe that some of this is copywritten, so I'm going to have to reduce my volume real quick here. Okay, much better. But sadly, we do lose some of that uh, wonderful engine sound. But uh, here we go. We are passing through the linen area of the ship, and then we'll be back on Scotland Road. So yeah, let's go ahead and go up the Grand Staircase. And you all should be familiar with the Grand Staircase through uh, multiple experiences of Roblox Titanic or Titanic Honor and Glory's demos. So yeah, as you can see, this is the reception room. No dining room in this experience. However, it is on the showcase. Looking out, we can see the ocean there and we're slowly climbing up the deck to getting farther and farther away from that water line. But here we are on sea deck. We have the uh, purser's office. And if we go over here, we have some more cabin layouts over here, or some cabin hallways, I should say. And um, yeah, let's keep going up onto B deck here. And we did 546 miles in the last 24 hours, so that's pretty decent. And hey, look at that, I see the forecastle deck just ahead. So let's see, is there any cabins on this deck? Let's take a look. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any cabins here, but I'm pretty sure there's a cabin uh, on one of these superstructure decks, but uh, here we are Let's go out onto the well deck and then up to the forecastle deck. Okay, so down here We actually have the D deck third class open space You can see some ventilation as well up here and we were just down there on Scotland Road You can see it there, but we're gonna go ahead We're gonna quickly run over here and then we're gonna go back up to the well deck and then we're gonna go over into the forecastle deck which is not fully decked out as you can see um, and I know that this is decked out on uh, the showcase model so uh, sadly it was removed for the sinking version but again all to reduce lag so now we're gonna climb up onto the top of the forecastle deck right here and if we turn around we get a nice view of the whole ship there at least uh, the bridge and the funnels as well but um, yeah here we are on the very front of the Titanic so we've made it all the way from the stern to the very front but there's still quite a lot to look at on the superstructure deck so let's go back at the grand staircase we're gonna walk up to a deck and we are all familiar with this area of the ship. But as you can see, that's the wonderful dome above the grand staircase here. And um, I don't know, does he have the lounge? Nope, doesn't look like it. We don't have the lounge in this simulation. But we do get quite a lot of interior, which is always good. So um, yeah, we have some more interior spaces as well here. And um, yeah, I think this is it for this section. We'll have to go aft for any other portions of the ship. But uh, yeah, that's a nice view. Nice. All right, so let's go out onto the enclosed and open promenade here. And as you can see, the lounge, reading, and writing room are non accessible and non detailed. But I'm pretty sure we can go in through this door here, maybe. Yes, we can. Oh, wow. Um, you might need to fix this because I am now in the lounge. Okay. So, yeah, um, there should be a door there, but uh, there isn't. Uh, oh, well, this is furnished. This looks like a crew mess. Let's go over to the other side here. Oh, wow, what a nice view. And the interesting thing that he has here is the list from the coal fire, so that's cool. All right, so we are now entering the second grand staircase on board the Titanic. This is the grand staircase that the uh, the dome was found on the wreck. So, uh, yeah, it was found in some sand, but uh, let's see what's over here. This would be Thomas Andrews' cabin, but uh, sadly it is not accessible or detailed. And on the other side would be uh, Father Brown's cabin, or Francis Brown's cabin, the man who took some of the last pictures on board the Titanic. And here we have the non-existent smoking room and Parisian Cafe. Actually, no, this is not the Parisian Cafe. This is one of the cafes, uh, but I just can't remember which one. The Parisian Cafe is down here. 
So let's go ahead and see if we can get down there. All right, so I see some detailing in here, and there it is, the Parisian Cafe. And if we go through here, we have the uh, first class grand staircase, the second first class grand staircase right here. Very, very nice. So let's keep going down here. We should have the barber shop on the right here. And yep, it's not detailed, but it would be here, and you can see the space for it. But uh, yeah, that has been a good portion of the ship. But here we are. We are on the bridge. You can see the wheelhouse uh, windows are actually shuttered. And um, didn't know that until now. Very cool. We have the telephones here, as well as the officer's quarters. So we'll take a little look here and see if he has the uh, wireless room. And yes, he does. Let's see. The silent room, no access to the silent room or the bedroom. And I hear the band playing in the grand staircase. Very cool. Well, it looks like we are getting closer and closer to that time. It is 11.39 p.m. on board the Titanic. Titanic will strike an iceberg in roughly a minute or so. So, um, yeah, it's just a waiting game at this point. And uh, I do know that the whole sequence is in real time. So, uh, yeah, let's keep our eyes peeled. And there's the iceberg. Murdoch would have ordered hard to starboard, would have closed the watertight doors as well as stopped the engines, went over here, and they could have done nothing else. It was just a waiting game. So, uh, here we go. All right, the iceberg is approaching, getting very close here. And the impact should occur shortly. And there we go. We are striking the iceberg. So if we go over to the bridge wing, we will see the iceberg pass alongside here. And there it goes. So let's zoom out here. And look at that. The iceberg has collided with Titanic, or Titanic has collided with the iceberg. And there we go. At this point, the captain would have come out. The crew would have told him the situation, and he would have ordered someone to go inspect the damage. And as you can see, the frames have dropped. Now get used to this, because the way that this uh, ship was built is it's made using parts, not meshes. And that means things are just going to be a little more laggy here. But uh, it's nothing I can't handle. So let's go down, and let's inspect the damage here. Okay, so uh, it looks like the ship is underway again, which is interesting. But here we are. And, uh, yeah, it is rapidly flooding. Look at that. Let's go to the, uh, mailroom and see, uh, what's going on there. So I think the only way to the mailroom is going back up to D-Deck, and we need to go to the Grand Staircase for that. So I'm just gonna go up onto the Well Deck, and it'll give us a chance to take a look at those ice chunks. Yeah, you can see them there, the ice chunks on the deck. Let's go to, uh, to the Grand Staircase and head down to D-Deck. And then we will go to the mailroom. All right, so I'm unsure what happened to my camera here, but whenever I try to zoom in with the scroll wheel, it kind of breaks it. So I guess we're sticking in third person for a little while. But as you can see, the water is rapidly filling the bottom of the mailroom here. So uh, yeah, this is not good. Oh, wow, it's actually flooding into the main portion of the mailroom here. Okay, yeah, we got to get out of here. No water from the uh, passenger perspective, which would be kind of sitting up here. Uh, which is good, but let's head to the boat deck. Um, you can hear the steam is actually escaping the funnels right now. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. The uh, lifeboats are actually being uncovered one at a time here, which is accurate, but uh, it's nice to see those little details actually being added into the game here. I don't know why I got stuck there. That was a little weird, but uh, yeah. All right, so I was able to fix my camera, so thank you to Ozers for that. He was able to help me out with that, but um, yeah, as you can see, the lifeboats are being swung out. A little finicky because the davits aren't moving until they fully swung out. But um, let's go ahead and go back down for a little bit. All right, but back down on Scotland Road, let's take a look at what the uh, the boiler room situation is looking like right now. So, um, oh gosh, wow, that has uh, that has flooded a lot faster than I thought it was gonna flood. Um, wait a minute, does this mean F? Oh gosh, F deck and G deck are already completely flooded. Um, this is bad. I did not know it was going to flood this quickly. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, water's gonna be on, uh, on E-Deck soon. Already. Jeez. Okay, this thing is sinking way faster than I thought it was gonna sink. Okay, let's take a look over here. Um, yeah, that's not good. Look at how low in the water the ship is right now. This is insane. Again, I did not anticipate this sinking so quickly. Okay, yeah, so, um, I would assume that most of the passengers are getting up on deck. Oh, yeah, they are. Passengers are requested to put on lifeboats and assemble in the public spaces. Okay, yeah, that's good. But, um, 
as you can see, we've only got a few lifeboats swung out, and, um, water's already up to Edek. Oh my gosh. Well, me first. Let me in this boat, please. Thank you very much. I appreciate being in the boat. It's really cool, actually, being able to sit in the lifeboat and just look up at the deck. Obviously, the passengers wouldn't be out on deck at this point. Maybe one or two who are really brave and don't really care about the cold, but wow, this thing is... Oh. You can hear faintly the wonderful music being played from the top of the grand staircase. How beautiful. Anyways, going down below, again, we're going to see how fast the water has risen in a two, maybe three minute period. Now, below decks, it really would look like this. There really would be no one around, and um, F deck's all clear here because obviously the water tight door is closed. Uh, rest in peace, the pool, because that's probably flooded now, so... Yay. How's Boiler Room 5 doing? Let's take a look. Now, I know the coal bunker is going to give way soon down here, so we got to get out of here. Oh, I like how he has the correct watertight door shape here. If you didn't know, um, the watertight doors of the boiler rooms were a bit wider than what is traditionally seen. So I'm glad that he actually has the correct uh, watertight doors here. So really nice. Anyways, let's get out of here before uh, it's too late and that bulkhead gives way. Because uh, I'm pretty sure the first people to die were the people that were in this boiler room, which were only one or two people. Um, uh, Barrett was actually able to escape the onrush of water when it burst through the uh, coal bunker. Uh, contrary to popular belief, it wasn't the uh, bulkhead that gave way, just the coal bunker. And there it is, folks. Water is on E-deck. And um, it is now 12.21 in the morning. So... Things aren't looking too good for the ship. Hey, hold on. Some ice made it down here. That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, this goes down. This is cool. Oh, yeah. This is the uh, the bunks for the crew members. Not the higher-ranking crew members, but the lower-ranking crew members. Oh, but look at that. The water's down here. So it's going to soon make its way over to where we just saw that staircase. Yeah. All right, let's get up. Dang, this ship is going down fast. And it's, uh, it's actually sped up by 2, 2%. Wow, this thing is going down fast, and it's only sped up by times 2. So, yeah. Um, very concerning. I mean, if you were on board the ship in real life, this thing must have really felt like it was going down quick. Because um, if it feels like it's going down way too quick with this here, then, um, yeah, being on board the actual ship must have been... Just insane. All right, so the uh, SOSs and CQDs are now being sent out from the wireless room. And I'm unsure as to why there's no door here. Um, interesting. But, uh, yeah, things aren't looking good for Titanic. Luckily, if the passengers were waiting around the Grand Staircase, which I believe they should have been, uh, or would have been at the time, uh, they wouldn't have seen water yet. Because the water only flooded E-Deck when... Um, when Scotland Road flooded through, which should be soon, unfortunately. All right, going out onto the promenade, you can see the lifeboats lined up here, and let's go forward a bit here. Let's see what we can see. Oh, hold on. Is that the Californian in the distance? That has to be. Oh my gosh. I did not know he added that. That is awesome. Wow, that must have been really comforting to the passengers to see that ship in the distance. But in reality, they were, because the Californian had its uh, radio turned off, so they couldn't hear the distress signals whatsoever. Going up, the band is still playing in the Grand Staircase. They don't make their way out onto the deck until way late in the sinking, so uh, yeah, they're going to be in there for a while. Let's go to the radio room and let's see what's going on there. Probably nothing. I am pretty sure nothing. Um, yeah, the room's only slightly tilted. But yeah, things are starting to degrade quickly, even though we can't totally see it right now. I mean, the situation below decks must be frightening. Speaking about the situation below decks, I do actually want to see what the lower, lower class sections of the ship are doing. Like the third class and even the uh, crew bunk areas. Alright, we are on D-deck. How's E-deck looking? Oh, much worse than before. Um, yeah, that's a lot of water flooding in. And uh, it's starting to make its way to Scotland Road, so we'll be seeing a port list uh, occurring very, very soon. So, um, yeah. Oh, look at this. We were down here earlier. This is when my camera was all messed up. But, um, yep, the mail room is definitely flooded at this stage. And uh, that would be leading up to D-Deck. So let's go through here. 
I'm sorry, but this defies the laws of physics. Um, all right, let's go through here. I'm wondering, does he have Molly Brown's cabin? Yes, he does. Molly Brown's cabin with the brass bed. Awesome. Well, pretty sure Molly Brown is in the Grand Staircase right now or somewhere else. So, um, oh, well, she's definitely somewhere else now because her cabin's flooding. So, um, yeah. What's interesting here is he has these doors basically blocked off. There's no arches or anything. So, I've never seen this before. I'm a little interested to see where he got that information from. Oh, wow, you can see the water coming down Scotland Road right now. And I'm pretty sure the coal bunker should be giving... Yep, Boiler Room 5's gone. So, the coal bunker did give way quite a while ago. The Boiler Room's completely flooded. So, um, yeah, Fireman Barrett would have left the space very quickly after that. Over to the right, we have a stairwell going down to a flooded hallway. Let's see where this goes. Oh, nope, not gonna risk that. Oh, no, 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 no! Nope, nope, I got stuck there. I do not want to be stuck there. Not at all. Back on the boat deck level, we can see lifeboats have been swung out. A good amount of them, including the aft boats. And that is always good. Let's actually ride this thing down. We can always reset, so... Here we go. I'm getting in. All right, so we are now down on the water, and there we go. So, uh, yeah, I think the boat automatically uh, rose away from the ship, so that's cool. All right, so I don't know why the uh, lifeboat hasn't like. Oh, God, no! As I say that, no, come back. I actually don't. Save yourselves. I'm going back on board. All right, so we're back on board Titanic, and um, it's pretty obvious at this stage. Titanic is not going to be all right. It is definitely sinking. But, uh, it would be understandable from some passengers' perspectives that, uh, the ship is unsinkable. It won't sink. Can't sink. It's too big to sink, kind of thing. So, yeah. Let's take a look at E-Deck here. So, no water down there, but definitely a lot of water down there. So, um, yeah. Oh, wow, look at this. The water is trickling in and trickling in fast at this point. The E-Deck elevator lobby is rapidly flooding and wow look at this hello lifeboat that we just got off of i think molly brown's cabin slowly filling with water hello all right time to get out of here well um it looks like there's something wrong with lifeboat four let's go over to lifeboat four right now let's see what's going on well 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 lifeboat four it looks like you've gotten yourself in a little bit of a sticky situation on the a deck promenade and, uh, I hope those crew members find those locks for the windows so they can crank them open and get some more passengers into that lifeboat. Um, that would be really advised at this point. Um, let's hope it doesn't take halfway through the sinking to do it. What a chilling sight over here, seeing the first of the lifeboats leaving Titanic. Never to return. You gotta remember that. They are not returning. Well... The lifeboat cluttering the deck issue is rapidly being solved by them being lowered away, so, uh, I guess that's a bonus. Lifeboat 3's just left the ship. Whatever that is. I don't see any lifeboats touching the water or lowering. Unless I'm missing something. Oh, wait, there's lifeboat 3 right there. Let's, uh, let's see lifeboat 3 off the ship. Some more wonderful music in the grand staircase. Let's look down here. Still no water? No concern to me. I'm staying on the ship. It's not sinking. That's my uh, thought about it all. So, yeah. Let's go to the stern. We've neglected to see the stern for a while here. So, um, it looks like the lifeboat situation is going all right. It looks like this lifeboat hasn't been set up yet, but um, the cover's been undone of it. But these lifeboats are doing really well. And it looks like we have um, a few lifeboats actually at the open promenade on the starboard side. So, this is pretty cool. Let's. Let's see if we can just hop down here. Look at this. You can just hop over the rail, avoid the gap, and now you're in a lifeboat. Beautiful. But uh, that's not our, our position right now. We're staying on Titanic to the very end. So, yeah. If I was a passenger at this point, I would be pretty concerned. I mean, the ship doesn't feel too right. It's a little bit tilted to one side, going down by the bow. Maybe they're just pumping out the stern or something and it's lifting it up and I don't know what's going on. And now I'm seeing lifeboats go away. I think it's a drill. It's a big batch of confusion. Um, but until I start seeing water, um, I'm really just going to be confused. Well, I think that point of being concerned has really just hit home. As you can see, the water is now rapidly flooding E-Deck here. 
um, through Scotland Road, of course, and the list to starboard will now start subsiding to port. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, E-deck is not looking good, and F-deck, well, that's just gone. And, uh, yeah, that green water just really flooding in. Quite frightening. Let's make our way aft here. All right, here's a cruise stairwell. We'll go up here. And, uh, hold on. Hey, look at this. It's the kitchen. This is cool. We can't go through there. The door's cut in half. But, uh, you can see where the, uh, D-deck dining room would have been. And, um, yeah, it's nice we actually have a kitchen here. I didn't actually know this existed on board. Uh, I knew it existed on board the real ship, but I didn't know it existed in this model. Uh, so, yeah, really cool. You know what's actually really cool here is he actually has the lip at the end of the table, so if you're in rough seas, it stops things from sliding over, but um, in this case, not really going to help because there's nothing being cooked at the moment. All right, so we're back up to the A-deck promenade here, and um, yeah, Titanic not doing so hot here, really starting to go down, and um, yeah, at this point, I am 100% concerned. I would already be trying to get into a lifeboat if I was really on board the ship at this point, uh, because... My confidence has completely left the ship. Um, I'd rather be in that lifeboat than be on board the ship. Not because I would think the ship would sink, but because it's starting to get to a point where things don't look really well managed. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so the top text really reads out what I'd be feeling right now. The anxiety has begun to spread among the passengers as soon as the aft port boat started to be filled. Titanic's bow was sagged quite deeply into the ocean. That, yeah, that would definitely be frightening. You know, when you're inside the ship, things don't look too bad, to be honest. It's really when you go outside, and, I mean, and really, if I was just inside the ship the whole time, I wouldn't really totally get why there was panic. Because, I mean, this kind of looks okay. I mean, we have a bit of a list. But when you get down here, this is where things get concerning, of course. But when you don't see water, and the list is just a little mild, and you can't see the waterline outside, it's not too frightening. Grand Staircase is looking extra nice tonight. Sadly, it will be its last night, as it will be ripped out of the, uh, the actual well in one go when the dome breaks free. So, yeah. At this point, the third-class passengers would be climbing these electric cranes and making their way onto the boat deck. And you can see where the horizon is here by the light in the distance. So you know the ship is really angled down at this point. Now this is very frightening. D-deck is not really, really low in the ship. And it's not too high on the ship either. But it's kind of in that middle ground. And when you see water reaching the middle part of the ship through a door, that's frightening. And the water almost lapping at the base of the door. That's not good. Let's actually go forward here. Is there water? Oh, wow. Yep. These first class cabins are going under here. Well, the water's made it up to the half landing on the grand staircase on E deck. And um, soon it'll be on the D deck grand staircase or reception room space. And um, yeah, it's already on D deck. It's been on D deck for a while, the water. But. Uh, Soon it'll get much, much worse from here. Lifeboats 12 and 9 have just left the ship. This is not looking good for Titanic and the rest of the passengers on board. Yeah, the lights are dimming here. Near the aft end of the ship, you can see these starboard boats on the rear portion of the ship's davits here are now lowering away. And, um, yep, you can see the discharge pump going off there, letting water out of the ship, but... It's not enough water to leave the ship to, uh, to save it. All right, lifeboat 13's gone now, and, um, the emergency cutter is now being filled with women and children. Looks like the ship is not making good noises either, starting to creak and moan as water floods the ship, and the well deck will be flooding soon. If we go down here, you can see the, uh, uh, D-deck stairs, or the stairs to D-deck, are now completely flooded. Oh yeah, this is not good. Water's now entering D-deck through the D-deck boarding door on the starboard side, the one that was opened. It is really not looking good. Well, the reception room is rapidly flooding, as you can see here with that D-deck door being opened. It's only going to accelerate faster and faster. I mean, that's a massive door just letting in tons of water. Uh, not like the, uh, the small slits in the side of the ship that uh, were caused by the actual iceberg collision. So, uh, yeah, 
the tipping point uh, passed a long time ago and this is just helping it go under. Looks like they're loading lifeboat 10 there. And yeah, with this port list, it's gonna be a little difficult. This was the boat that uh, J. Bruce Ismay actually left in, I believe. So yeah, there they go. It's getting up now and they're going to be putting it over the side. Oh boy, is the well deck flooding? Yes, it is. Things are happening so quickly, I can't even comment on them, and I'm stuck. There we go. Oh boy, the lights are dimming now. That is not good. Lifeboats are leaving the ship, though. That's good, but uh, not completely filled. At this point, um, if you haven't figured it out, the ship is sinking. Um, anyone that's on board at this stage knows 100% ship's going down. Uh, there's literally no way you can't tell that the ship isn't sinking right now. I mean... Look at this list. If you put something on the floor, it'd be sliding or rolling down the deck a little bit. So, yeah, not good. And if you really, really, really were dumb and didn't think the ship was sinking, just take one look down the well, you'd see water up about three decks there. So, yeah, not good. Yeah, that's not a good sound to hear when you're on board a ship. And uh, especially one that's in peril. So, yeah, here we are on the promenade once grand and now more frightening i would say as the ship keeps leaning more and more and more going down faster and faster i'm wondering are there any accessible cabins that i might have missed might as well get to them while i can here while the ship's still afloat uh so yeah let's just take a look here oh no here it is ah yes my cabin well Sadly, I was not able to get off the ship, mainly because I neglected to even try to get into a lifeboat, so I'm just going to go to my cabin and wait it out. Maybe the ship will split in half and become its own lifeboat or something like that. Who knows? The floor of well deck's completely awash, that's not good. The lights are getting more and more reddish, which means the power is dying. Um, yep, the wireless officers have been released from their duties, but would stay till the water reached the boat deck. But, um... Yeah, yeah, any third-class passengers coming out of the, uh, the interiors of the ship would, uh, have quite a sight to see. I mean, all the lifeboats are gone except the emergency cutters at this stage. Um, you can see, uh, one of the lifeboats going around the stern. There was a great, uh, mini-documentary made by Tom Linsky, uh, the, uh, former... Uh, lead developer for Titanic Honor Goy that talks about that lifeboat specifically. I'll have a link in the top right corner to that video so you can check it out. But it talks all about it. And, um, but yeah, the end is near here. This is it. Let's go down. Oh boy, yep, there's water here. This is definitely a place where you don't want to be seeing water for sure. Let's go through here. Whoa, yeah, reception room's not doing too good. So I think we're gonna go aft. We're gonna see if we can actually get to the lower decks from the aft portion of the ship, because that would be interesting. The power is really dying. I'm talking almost no light at all at this stage. Um, we still see some light emission, but not much. I don't even think we'll be able to have time to get to the rear portion of the ship. I think that time's up and left at this stage, but we'll try, we'll see. If we get trapped, we get trapped. Oh boy, we are going down fast. Here we go. Let's go down. I know a fast way. Here we go. And we've broken all of our legs. So, uh, let's head forward from here. Scotland Road. What's going on down here? Oh, I see water. That's not good. Yeah. Song de Autumn is playing right now. All right. Well, we do have a fast escape, so let's take that escape. Officers are attempting to attach the first two collapsibles to the falls. Um, hmm. But they're not down on the deck, so I don't know why they're attaching them now. Oh, wow, she is really going fast. Look at this. Let's take a look down the, uh, down the side here. Here we go. This is it. Let's go onto the deck. Let's see. Let's get on the starboard side here. Let's see if we can get those boats off. I think they'll go off the deck in a moment or two. At this point, I think they would have left the wireless room. The wireless operators, Philip and Bride, would have started to leave the, uh, the wireless room. I mean, at this stage... The water is now, yep, the water is now on the boat deck. So here we go. Near thy god to thee is now playing. So this is it. We're gonna get those boats down or what? I mean, they're still on the, still on the deck. Okay, um, the boat deck is awash. There's no time left for the final collapsibles. Yep, now they're being released. There we go. This one's gonna fall upside down on the deck here. 
This is the one that uh, one of the wireless operators was actually trapped under. The ship has rolled back to an even keel, or is rolling back to an even keel. Let's cross over to the other side right now. Uh, well, we still can. Bye bye, wireless room. This is literally the last we will see of it until uh, 1985 or whenever they returned here. So, goodbye, everyone. Final last look. All right, let's go. Here we are. Boats on the uh, the deck now. The boat deck. Boats on the boat deck, and water is now rapidly flooding. Um, yeah, I think I think we'll just follow the water up here. Let's go to the grand staircase because uh, that's a very popular sight to see when the ship goes down. Oh yeah, rapidly filling. And the movie Benjamin Guggenheim was sitting right here with his manservant, and um, yeah. Here we go. Near that got to the is now stop playing at this point. Yeah, the ship is really going under. The first funnel will collapse in a moment or two. Um, let's take a look at that. There it goes! Collapsing to starboard and just falling into the water there. Alright, let's keep moving here. All right, we are about to see the ship break in half here. I think I'm gonna stand in front of the break uh, so we can get a nice clear view here. The stresses are definitely building. It is 2.17 in the morning on board Titanic here. This is definitely it. Power is out, just the emergency power remains. And here we go. Oh my gosh, wow, she's really rising up here. There's the breakup. All right, we're gonna stick on this end actually. All right, yeah, the ship is broken into two pieces. Um, no separation of the forward or aft towers yet. I don't know if this uh, simulation shows that, but, uh, here we go. Oh, nope, there it goes. The forward tower has just separated and fallen into the water there. Oh, gosh, what is that coming up? That was weird. Okay. And she's beginning to roll. Okay, here we go. Let's keep moving. All right, we are on the fan tail right here. And uh, I'm going to just stay on it until the very end. So, uh, yeah. All right, she's beginning to rotate and really going under here. What a remarkable view of the stern going down with a slight list uh, to one side and a slight forward angle. And there's more air escaping the vessel. And here it is. This is it. Um, I don't know if I should jump or not. I'm just going to let the ship uh, just go underneath my feet here. And there we go. Let's swim away. I think we can swim to a lifeboat here, possibly. Shouldn't be too long. Now, that was an amazing simulation. The links for both the showcase and the game itself will be in the description. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.